Hey guys, welcome back to another great episode on KOB TV, Chattanooga, Tennessee. I am your host, Ken Johnson, and today we are talking about critical race theory. What do you know about critical race theory? And uh, what are your opinions on critical race theory? Now, I have to apologize for my last video uh, because I just, like I said, it was ad lib. I really didn't have a... a, a any kind of a uh, script nor you know uh, uh, some way to kind of uh, guide me through the conversation but anyway today we we're just be talking about critical race theory so I really can't mess up and um, I guess the best thing to do is go ahead and get started let's uh, bring up hmm Okay, here we go, here we go. Uh, so of course, you know, firstly, I uh, looked up the uh, definition, and can you see that? Okay, well, anyways, I went to, where did I, I went to uh, Britannica, and let's go ahead, and I'm going to have to go over here and this uh sorry about that guys uh, so you can get a clear definition of because it's you know it's pretty much new to me although a lot of people have been talking about it this and that so yeah uh critical race theory intellectual and social movement and loosely organized framework of legal analysts based on the premise that race is not a natural biologically grounded feature of physically distinct subgroups of human beings but a socially construct culturally invented category that is used to oppress and exploit people of color critical race theorists hold that racism is inherent in the law and legal institutions of the United States insofar as they function to create and maintain social, economic, and political inequalities between whites and non-whites. <laughs> I like that especially African Americans, critical race theorists are generally dedicated to applying their understanding of the institutional or structural nature of racism to the concrete, if distant, goal of eliminating all race-based and other unjust hierarchies. So, I guess, let's reread the last part there, because it looks like it's saying critical race theorists are generally dedicated to applying their understanding of the institutional or structural nature of racism to the concrete the concrete goal of eliminating all race based and other unjust hierarchies so with that being said CRT is meant to eliminate racism so I don't see where all the crying is about. What's all the fuss? Okay. So we didn't stop there. We looked up another definition. Moving. Um, we did, that was uh, what? Britannica. And what's next? Where's the next one? It's a little slow over here. Oh. Cast. Well, let's go to um, another definition before we go to cast. 
Okay, this one says, what is critical race theory, definition, principles, and applications? We're not going to read the whole thing, just, the, uh, let's, let's see, get it all the screen so you can see it there. Okay, critical race theory is a school of thought meant to emphasize the effects of race on one's social standing, right? arose as a challenge to the idea that in the two decades since the civil rights movement and associated legislation racial inequality has been solved and affirmative action was no longer necessary CRT continues to be an influential body of legal and academic literature that has made its way into more public non-academic writing whatever that means okay key takeaways critical race theory critical race theory was a response by legal scholars to where is this at this is on thoughtco.com critical race theory was a response by legal scholars to the idea that the united states has become a color blind society where racial inequality discrimination was no longer in effect mm, while while race as a notion is a social construct and not rooted in biology it has had real tangible effects on blacks and people of other color in terms of economic resources educational and professional opportunities and experiences with the legal system critical race theory has inspired various other subfields such as la i don't know is asian crit and queer crit? oh my goodness Never, we're not getting into all that. Okay, so basically, uh, it's about America and the hierarchy from where we gather our social construct. All right? So we got a social construct, uh, which means it's not natural, which, you know, basically. So, um, what are these? So basically, Let's go over here to caste system, because caste system really will determine and pretty much close the debate. Because I mean, what's what's wrong with teaching? You you guys don't want the truth now. I understand that, okay? Because now this is once again this is another video, it's mostly for so-called white people, because you guys are just as ignorant as so-called black people and so I mean running around calling yourselves white come on guys you know you're not white it's not a race I mean if I ask you what your nationality is you know you are you gonna say white that's you know that's ignorance and you know the the goal here in uh, today's times, you know, 2021 information age is, you know, you can pretend like you don't know, but, uh, you know, this is information age. You can pretend you can, you can be a fool and this is not happening and this is net and then, the <coughs> and then we go pull it up on 20 different pages, get 20 different videos, 2,200 videos, <coughs> resources from in the, um, United States, your resources from outside the United States. It really doesn't matter. It's plenty of resources that'll. Let's go ahead and read this what a caste system is so you can really understand. Caste, basic plural, are rigid social groups characterized by higher heredity, transmission of lifestyle, occupation, and social status. The caste system in India has its origin in ancient India and was transformed by various ruling elites in medieval, early, modern, and modern India, especially in the Mughal Empire and the British Raj. I'm not sure where they are. There's some uh, resources to that. All right, so now uh, he's talking about the British, okay? And so that's European. So... We're going to connect all the dots, you know, or the so-called white people. Okay, um, well, let's let's go over here real quick, let you see that picture. 
since the British Raw was the rule of the British Crown on the Indian subcontinent from 1858 to 1947. The rule is also called Crown Rule in India or Direct Rule in India, the region you know they got their freedom, they got their independence. And all. Uh, but this is right at 1861, which we were talking about last night, which we were talking about. Uh, how it all ties in how the government was overthrown uh, then and perpetuated all the way up until this day so Lincoln was killed for that reason you know uh, and other reasons too you know that I'm sure you guys probably know about but remain you know pretending that you're ignorant but let's go ahead and keep moving we were talking about all right, the caste system consists of two different concepts, Varna and Jati, which may be regarded as different levels. Okay, we don't really want to know all of that. Uh, the caste system as it exists today, we are right. Okay, you see where we are. The caste system as it exists today is thought to be the result of developments during the collapse of the Mughal era and the rise of the British colonial government in India so now we so basically back to the Europeans and colonial government okay the collapse of the Mughal era saw the rise of powerful men who associated themselves with kings priests and ascetics hmm affirming the regal and martial form of the caste system, caste idea. Wow, that's just, and I was looking, actually looking back. Um, okay, so basically, uh, and it also reshaped many apparently casteless social groups into differentiated caste communities. So, you know, keep going. The British Raj further this development making rigid caste organizations a central mechanism of administration so this is all from England from your queen from the crown and you want to say the Quakers you run the Quakers the Quakers and Plymouth Rock and all that stuff it's still the same thing you're a descendant of her in this system between 1860 and back right where we started from yesterday in eighteen and 1920, the British formulated the caste system into their system of governance, granting administrative jobs and senior appointments only to Christians. So now you tie Christianity into it, which Christ is not real. You guys keep perpetuating that myth, that bull, when, you know, you can go to 20 different pages, you can get all kinds of research, you know. You know, uh, Catholicism, you know, you're worshiping uh, Vatican, you're holding him up above pretty much everything. Um, so you just run around narcissistic, uh, plagiaristic, uh, lying, stealing, killing, raping thieves, pretending that CRT isn't real or that the existence of your history is not what you created well you are a result of that history and so that's how you become tangible in the situation okay so let's keep going now we've tied the british the european so if you're european or a european descendant you tie yourself and then, then they got to christianity okay so only to christians and people belonging to certain caste so you had to belong to a certain caste it really pretty much live to make money so, same thing you know okay so they brought it over here social unrest well they didn't bring it over it was already over they were practicing it already uh, social unrest during the 1920s led to the change in this policy from then on the colonial administration began to Begin a, uh, begin a policy of positive discrimination by reserving a certain percentage of government jobs for the lower caste. So, kind of like 
what do you call it, you know, where they get the jobs and don't actually. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not saying. Uh, in 1948, negative discrimination. Uh, yeah, on the basis of caste, was banned by law and further enshrined in the Indian Constitution. However, the system continues to be practiced in parts of India. So even though it was in the Constitution, they banned it or whatever. You know, still practiced. And so, but we're really talking about America and uh, so-called white people. I mean. You just have to be a freaking moron to run around in today's age when you're supposed to be loving and hugging and building and creating and sharing and doing. Uh, So-called white people get the benefit of or their privileges are based on them pretending or playing along, playing ignorant. Perpetuating Christianity and stuff, pretending like it's real when you know that going well is not, you know, uh... Everybody knows it, but you keep pretending. So any person that pretends that CRT is something that goes against, uh, and that's not real, it, it, it's real. And uh, let's keep going. That was just a definition. I'm not going to hold you long. Uh, that was just two definitions, basically. Now, did I want to, what's this? I went to my last one. What's this? Okay, we did that. We read that the key takeaways for the race theory was a response by legal scholars. So let's go over to some legal stuff. That's what I I like. You guys don't want to read. You guys don't want to listen. You guys want to pretend. Keep pretending. And you're going to get hate perpetuated on you. And then you're going to run around and end up killing yourself out of ignorance thinking that somebody actually hates you or wants to do something to you when that's far that's the farthest thing from the truth so called black people so called white people because so called black people are pretty much awake now and most people so called black people know that you know they are the Indians or were the Indians or Moors and there is a, a this is our land and you guys stole it and you guys want to pretend this is 2021 now uh this is everybody's common knowledge besides the so-called people that want to pretend that it's not that crt isn't real that yeah mm-hmm. so if you walk out you wake up in the morning and you're white and something's wrong with you you're a psychopath but let's go ahead and a lesson on critical race theory because let me re- re- reiterate that because I don't want to get people this is supposed to be learning okay now understand you can nobody can be a color you can't be black or white now if you choose to be black or white then you're choosing to be uh, part of a social caste system that degradates the lower caste that's just common sense it wouldn't be a hierarchy it wouldn't be a need to have a caste system if you when one wasn't higher than the other so with that said because you know you, you are a european so you have to have come from uh somewhere in europe and so that means that's who you are as a person to dedicate yourself and and you know your parents probably taught you the same thing my parents taught me taught me I always said you black I'm not black bitch you know (laughs) but um it's the same thing and so now you got you know my age teaching we're we're teaching our kids I know I taught mine I teach mine Um, you know so he won't be have to wait till he gets my age to figure out he's not black black uh, why would i say that i'm black and associate it except you know uh, uh an overthrown government's rule but anyway uh not to let's go ahead and get into the legal uh aspect of it because <coughs> at least legal theory uh let's read the a lesson on critical race theory <coughs> and this is from american bar 
dot org. So in September 2020, President Trump issued an executive order excluding from federal contracts any diversity and inclusive training interpreted as containing device concepts, race or sex stereotyping, and race or sex scapegoating. Among the content considered device I don't know why I keep saying device and not saying divisive. Uh, considered divisive is critical race theory. In response, the African American Policy Forum, led by legal scholar Kimball Shaw, launched the Truth Be Told campaign. Let me get this out of this so you can see it because I don't think you can see it. Take it up. He launched the Truth Be Told campaign. Where was I? Uh, led by, okay. To expose the harm that the order poses. So the order that Trump gave uh, poses harm. And the harm reports indicate that over 300 diversity and inclusion trainings have been canceled. As a result, of the order and over 120 civil rights organizations and allies signed a letter condemning the executive order. The NAACP Legal Defense and Education Fund, Inc., LDF, the National Urban League, and the National Fair Housing Alliance filed a federal lawsuit alleging that the executive order violates the guarantees of free speech equal protection and due process so exactly what is CRT why is it under attack and what does it mean for the civil rights lawyer this is the last part we're reading we we'll just talk you know guys because you know this is senseless that you guys are wanting to continue to per perpetuate the lie basically um CRT is not a diversity and inclusion training, but a practice of interrogating the role of race and racism in society that emerged in the legal academy and spread to other fields of scholarship. Crenshaw, who coined the term CRT, notes that CRT is not a noun, but a verb. It cannot be confined to a static, narrow definition, but is considered to be an evolving and malleable practice in critic no oh, who I say in it critiques how the social construction of race and institutionalized racism perpetuates a racial caste system. So back to the caste system, which we already gave you a definition of which everybody knows except for the pretending whites and pretending and ignorant pretending blacks. So yeah. Uh, perpetuates uh, a racial caste system that relegates people of color to the bottom tiers. CRT also recognizes that race intersects with other identities, including sexuality, gender identity, and other. In others, <laughs> CRT recognizes that racism is not a bygone relic of the past instead it acknowledges that the legacy of slavery segregation and the imposition of second-class citizen on black americans and other people of color continue to permeate the social fabric of this nation so that's it for reading we don't have to read anymore we can just that is true so what i mean what's the conversation about to me i don't understand um uh, it's why i looked it up to um figure out what you guys are talking about why do you think that we think that Christ is real the earth is round that you are white or we are black we've been trying to get out the buff we should try to hmm remember if you just saw my video yesterday the one the same one that I don't know if I'm titling this is no. That's probably be this will probably be CR. You just have to go see. Um, 
the white people they want you dead my previous video I'm not probably gonna be doing videos I don't think because you know it's kind of useless to me uh, this information is out here uh, there's no need for me to really have to get out here and uh, tell you guys mm -hmm. waste my time uh, you know you have to be a buffoon if you wake up white or you wake up black you're a damn buffoon you know this is a stolen country who doesn't who stole it who's writing laws you know I mean it's just not common sense to, but I don't, I don't you, you're talking about it's just being taught in schools or something I don't even see and you know what what's being taught that's common knowledge you have to teach something that parents teach their kids and so oh maybe you're thinking that we're teaching to hate of course you fucking idiot you have to be a fool to like oppression so we may teach them to hate oppression but not a person or people we attach the identity of the hurt to a person who claims to be someone who he is not yeah and so yeah we ain't teaching hate we're just teaching knowledge truth and you don't want the truth you can't handle the truth truth is ain't nobody black brown blue green yellow white orange purple everybody on the planet got a nationality and you're damn a psychopath, a narcissist, a, a rapist, you're a pedophile, you're all of that. That's what the definition of white is. You stand at the top of the world as the as the Catholic, as a, a, in Catholicism over Christendom. What the fuck is that? But a sickness. Forget racism. So every single person that wakes up from this point forward, this day, what is it that? From this day for Wednesday, October the 13th, 2021. If you're eight years or older and you wake up white or black, it's your parents' fault and you have sickness now at that point. So anybody who's over the age of eight right now, if you're practicing uh, Christianity, I'm sorry. You know, I used to be Christian. I was raised Christian. I was raised Southern Baptist in a church. You know, you know, you know. But common sense would say you got too many questions, too many unanswered questions to continue to just be a, a, a buffoon and search and look and, and you find your answers and you and you come to the the truth that. Uh, Certain things aren't real in life. Uh, <clears throat> that just happens to be one of them. I mean, you got video after video after. You got Hollywood making movies from Roots to Django. Showing and proving. And think about it. Your history books say it as well. And guess what? So-called black people didn't write those books. You know, so... It's once again, you, 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 you know, uh, I'm just, you know, not trying to give ammo to anything that's harmful, but I just wanted to look into it and really see and maybe talk to so called white people because maybe they think that because we still, you know, haven't progressed, that we think that they are white and we're black. Like I said, just look at last year, a couple years back with the NFAC, uh, trying to get recognized nationally. I mean, the President of the United States, Trump, then, you know, so-called white, he, he's not acknowledging, you know. Uh, you know, so he wants to perpetuate a, a lie and a myth. So those shots and stuff that he sent out to you guys, I don't know if he knew, but 
or I don't know if he knew what they were going to do or, you know, when it, or, <laughs> can't say that. But at this point, and I said that a couple of days back, maybe on the last video, that if he says anything that, oh, excuse me, says anything that in any way um, hints to the fact that, you know, he does not know that they are contaminated and that they are, you know, full of crap, then you know he's with the program. He's once again, and so does CRT teach people to hate white people? No. It just reinforces their already subliminal, subconscious uh nonviolent hate for them yeah uh, and that's the whole point I know a lot of people say so called black people need to wake up but it's really the so called white people that want to perpetuate whiteness there is no fucking such thing as being white you are a if you claim and these, these are going to be the new standards for you claiming for if you claim to be white, you are a blood sucking savage, a murdering, raping pedophile. You, if you don't look it up right now and find out who you are, yeah, that's the whole point. Because nobody's going to keep preaching and teaching and talking to you. And you're not going to keep telling us what to do. <laughs> it's just the bottom line. And you can see it. Don't you see it? What do you think this is about? You think it's about us or about you? So I said I was just going to run through this real quick. I don't think you guys you guys deserve any more information. Um, let me see what the clock says. And, uh, you know, 32 minutes. Yeah, I'm going to keep this way up under an hour, hour and a half that I had last time. I'm actually trying to cut you up like maybe uh, in five or ten more minutes. So, yeah, um, I'm just trying to see how else I can connect it, uh, connect some dots for you because <laughs> unfortunately and <laughs> horribly say, it's, it's horrible to say I actually, I well, I care about human life, and so if you're human, <laughs> I might actually give a fuck. But um, if you're white or black, mm -mm, I, I tell I've been telling folks that for a number. I don't, mm -mm, if you're white or black, now I mentioned some things the other day, like. I mean, really, it goes back to the flat earth and it goes back to, uh, we can tie a lot of stuff in. I mean, uh, I think we'll just, if you look at what is studied, uh, it's really all about information. Right now, there's no way on um, God's green earth and I'm not religious no way on God's green earth that we should not know more about Antarctica and the place we live on no way on God's green earth that we should not know that about Antarctica we know more about the moon Mars <coughs> everything else but you gonna tell me I can't go there because it's too cold or you don't have the technology. Uh, think about it. You really got to think about it, though. i give you guys some clues as to help you understand why it's the CRT came up. And you're going to hear Flat Earth a lot, too. From now on, <coughs> in big politicians' mouths, <coughs> I think Rand Paul <coughs> said you tried to 
and call folks flat earthers and stuff. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious because he's letting you know. He's he's, he's just chiming it. <coughs> it's subliminal. It's subliminal. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to cover my mouth because I'll still try and talk. <coughs> you don't need to miss a word. <coughs> um, it's subliminal messages that'll be being sent to you, and if you don't want to wake up, that's fine. If you don't want to turn a page and read a book, read an article or two, ten articles, watch a few videos, spend a whole day binging, just like you would on when you binge watch those. Movies, mm-hmm. The sitcoms you watch, but uh, let's just go back, recap, and get out of here. Um, you know, uh, flat. You know, Antarctica and uh, climate change and classism. Because, I mean, there's no way uh, stuff should be on the books right now. Laws, old laws that degradate and demean people. Just from reading them. I, I wouldn't even want to go back and read them, but I have. And that's the point. History. You want to ignore history. And then they're tearing down statues and stuff. That's a lie. Why would you want to lie? Why would you want to hide the treachery? You know, if you didn't do it, why would you want If it was your grandfather, we understand that. See, that's what you don't understand because you've been birthing, birthing children up under that, that those negative enzymes. Mm-hmm. Of fear and hate and mistrust because you've done it. That's what it's all about is maintaining the life so CRT is all about maintaining the life uh, <coughs> you guys don't want to let go <coughs> a lot of <coughs> black people so called black people have become complacent in that sense too but yeah Antarctica it, the climate change thing about it is going to it's gonna reveal a lot. Revelations. It's gonna reveal, and so revealing. And uh, you got your AI. I'm not gonna. I'm, I would. Should I do that? Mm -mm, mm -mm. This episode is not about that. So I can at least let you see. I was on Trypanosoma cruising, and I was gonna give you some info but I just give you that let you go from there and uh, of course you know the Hydra uh, Vulgaris was out there with it mm. it is actually under the Hydra Hydra Linnaeus uh, let me see if I click back one if uh that's it, Hydra Linnaeus. You got those, that stuff is in the in the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, I guess I'd have to make a separate video about how it interacts with uh, artificial intelligence and how uh, you can, the idea is, is trying to gain immortality through, uh, through uh, these uh, organisms. And, um, so, yeah, that'll be another episode, and so, we're creating things, and, uh, putting things, fascinating objects, man, they, they're really, uh, really great, um, and do I need to put the link in the description down here for you guys, I guess, for a definition, we only did, uh, Britannica and Wikipedia. Um, I guess I'll still put them in there as usual. 
<clears throat> even the Trypanosoma cruz, no, I didn't. We didn't talk to discuss it really. Uh, yeah, so guys, I don't know what you guys want us to think. You want us to continue to be or pretend that we don't have a cell phone or internet service or an internet or a computer or know how to read and write or remember. You know, uh, yes, whiteism, uh, if you want to call it that, whatever you want to call it. Because I know most of you guys don't know. And those who do don't want to say anything. And those who are just waking up, like on this video, really just understanding that you by calling yourself a certain thing that you aren't, a name given to you by the government, that was overthrown there it says it from your wikipedia this british british colonial administration is you know basically what it is in, in christian uh, so you can pretend to keep pretending that they teaching hate we ain't te they ain't teaching hate you are perpetuating hate on yourself. You're killing yourself, not only outwardly, but inwardly, because you are continuing to feed these ideas and you develop uh, patterns of behavior based on the way you, uh, your environment, like I told you uh, in the previous video that you know your environment from a mother's perspective when she's having a, ch a child or pregnant in those nine months uh, she's letting off those bad vibes and bad enzymes and there's nothing she can do about being afraid when she knows that you know, because in, in all honesty, you know, white women really aren't as thick and, <laughs> and uh, they are just, they, they just, just aren't fine as heck. No other is uh, the so called black freak. We just, you know, you said because, uh, so you guys really aren't. That are, I mean, you might have a pretty face, but nothing to go with it. And so, not to be, you know, down and I, you know, because I dated plenty. Like, I, I, shoot, come on now, I, uh, I had a white baby. So, but uh, you know, that mentality that I had that was ten years ago. You know, thinking that white, black, that's when I was finding out uh, when I had my junior, you know, you know, I've been perpetuating a lot. So, yeah, I didn't wake up knowing it. I didn't always know. I learned like you should. And uh, if you don't, you will be hated. You will, CRT proves that you will be hated. If you don't learn, if you don't go learn the truth and tell the truth more than, more than likely, because you really probably don't have to go learn too much and nothing. You already know it. You're just perpetuating a lie. You know, you know a lot of truths and y'all hiding it. And so you're killing yourself. So that's really it. That's all CRT is. That's what the definition is from a so-called black person. And, uh, you know, that's all I can really give you. I'll you the last one. I can't help you no more than, than uh, alerting you, letting you know that uh, if you wake up white or black, something is seriously wrong with you. And those who know aren't going to like you for that reason for not knowing 
not because you claim that you are above somebody because that's what you're saying not that it's because you're thinking that the rest of the world is ignorant so it's only really a lot that the American whites uh, they need to wake up and know that their buttons are being pushed because they don't have anything either you know so think about who's pushing the buttons you know it can't be the so called black people if they aren't in power you gotta wake up tell the truth or die alright guys I guess that's it uh, like share and subscribe and uh, I'll talk to you later bye mm <laughs>